So this is how PayPal UI design look like. It is boring, right? So that is what we are going to do today. We are going to redesign the UI of the PayPal. So hello, so my name is Devendra, and today in this video, I gonna redesign the UI design of the PayPal. Along with that, I will explain some terminology about the UI design. If you want the Figma file for this project, then you can visit our website aistore.shop. Wide range of categories like the AI category, extension category, Figma templates, and much more coming soon. Here you will get quiz app design, earning application design, restaurant app UI design, and much more. So you must visit our website aistore.shop on it and should have a look on it at once. So without any ado, let's start today's video. So before going ahead, let me introduce about myself. So I'm Devendra Koi. I'm a UI designer as well as developer. I recently started the designing the Figma file. When I was get developing the application, I'm getting very positive response on my design. So that's why I thought to start my designing career. So if anyone want to contact with me, then you can email me on the Devendra Koi 41 at gmail.com or telegram Devendra Koi 41. If you want to message me on WhatsApp, then this is my WhatsApp number. As well as if you want to purchase this AI kit, then you will get this AI kit on the airstore.shop and here i have been uploaded many figma files that i have been created as well as if you want to publish your figma file then you can click on the publish now button and you can also publish your figma file so let's continue our videos so this is the ui that i redesigned so let's jump towards the screen so these are the screen that i have been redesigned so let me show you the design one by one so this is the splash screen okay uh so here you can see i took the frame over here so let me teach you why i design like this and why I pick this color and why i use the specific typography okay so this is the splash screen looks like and i keep the corner radius 44 pixel and here i have been added the status bar so for this project i have been used a pop-in spawn this is the color palette that i will use in this project before proceeding this video so let me tell you why i choose this color so first thing first so as we all know the payment is one kind of decision that user needs to make so to make so to make the decision we need to create a design of application something like uh, some chilling and some resting and there we should not use any any dark color so that's why what i did i selected the color that is little bit light as well as little bit attractive so that's why i selected this light purple color and in the center i use the white colored paper logo okay this is why i choose the light purple color whenever you sit to design the application so before that you must select which font you have to use and which colors you gonna use in your design and before selecting the font and the color please read the psychology of user and use case of your application so as my payment application and user need some space to make the decision so that's why i selected some light color on the top of that i choose the white colored paper logo so now next screen is intro screen so here i keep the 3d paper logo and below that i keep the text like i am doing paper so whenever you decide any tagline so play with the psychology of the user okay and below that i have been created a button to continue with email option and below that i have been given them three sign in options the first option is google second option is apple and third option is for meta or facebook so one more lesson is here so whenever you keep the button text then this should be something like call to action okay so continue with email okay so this is the call to action right so so instead of continue with email if i suppose to use email so user get confused what email if i'm telling them continue with email then it's making the some core of action then user will click over here this is also important thing but we need to know if you are a ui designer and here i have been added the text that is read our terms and condition before going ahead then this is the login screen when user click on the continue with email then this screen will get visible that is login screen so here i have been placed the paper logo and below that i have been created the text box one for email id and second one is for password so keep in mind if you are going to enter the email id then they must know one text box is active that's why i have been kept it's all color as our primary color second text box that is password this is inactive so that's why to show it's inactive i have been keep this as a gray let me tell you about the color psychology the dark color looks like it's the thing is active once you go towards the light then it look like deactive that's why my suggestion is whenever you want to show something activeness then you should go with the dark color and if you want to show some deactivate then select some light color okay so that's why i've been selected here the gray color i keep the button like sign in and below that asking them don't have account then create new one same thing i have been done for the registration screen so i'm skipping the registration screen design so let's jump to the home screen design so this is the home screen design look like yeah i have been keep the paper logo at the home screen 
of the paper then it look like very normal and boring okay so here you can see i have been bring the amount and the profile together in one box so below this i have been created the frame for send them again so here is a list of the user we send the money and below that our transaction list is here okay so this is how our home screen look like and here i also keep the two buttons send and request so some people will keep something like this but this look like very boring but what i will do i want something unique and i want something different so that's why what i did i just make some masking over here so let's jump to the send screen so this is how the send screen look like and here i've been keep the search bar and then here i keep the suggested list below i created the list of the contact that user have then what the user will do when user click on the send button then this screen will get visible and after user select any one contact then this screen will get visible that is sent to the user screen so whenever you would start design so this is your job to make the research before doing the design okay what you have to do you just have to keep the important thing on the main screen and if you feeling that this thing is not important and this thing is not primary then make it disable okay some make it hide so here i have been keep very minimalistic design so on this screen i just keep the profile of the user to confirm i am paying to the correct user and below that i am showing name of the user as well as username and then below that i have been keep the conversion rate and along with that i have been created they receive section so here user can see like the amount that they on as well as the currency okay and here i have been created a button something like interested that is slide to send means user will drag this button and then the amount will get sent so if user click on this pinning button then this pop up will get open and user can search the country that they supposed to want to send then send to user screen looks something like this so here you can see the successful icon will get visible and below that how much amount they send uh, this will get visible and below that uh, they will see some notice along with the card ending number and we along with that i have been keep the transaction id and date of the transaction so this is how our uh, send to the user screen look like so one lesson i supposed to share with you you can see i have been highlighted uh, the amount that user have been sent that is 25.9 dollar whenever you start a designing then you should show the most primary cup as a bold but when user click on this profile icon then this, this profile screen get open so here i have been create the legal option and below here i have been create the profile picture of the user and name of the user and below that username and here i have been keep the three options so one more lesson is here i don't want user to delete their account so that's why what i did i have been created the edit button as a primary button and the delete and the logout button as a secondary button so if you don't know about the primary button and secondary button then let me tell you if you want to show something primary then you should use the fill button and if you want to use the secondary button you should add the stroke to that button and below that i have been added some extra action like the login and security along with the recognizable icon below that here is a version code so let's jump to the profile edit screen so once you user click on the edit then what will happen so this is the edit screen so let's have the learning about the profile screen. So on edit screen you can see I keep the profile as well as some field to edit their email address phone number and address okay so let's have a look on the profile so on the profile what i did i have been keep in the circular shape on the bottom of the circle what i did i have been create the camera option that means user get action if they want to change the profile then they can click over here so that's why i have been created the design for profile something like this and below i have been created some text field to edit their data like the email address phone number and address so this is how the our edit screens look like so let's talk about the login and security screen so this is how our login and security screens look like okay so here what i did here i have been keep back option and below that i have been keep the text like the login and security so here is one more learning i have been highlighted the pass key feature as we are the payment merchant we want the security for the user key. so that's why fill the card with the color that means the user will get to know that this is the primary thing i supposed to change this thing that is the pass key and below that i have been keep some switches over here for the fingerprint scan as well as for extend your login session so this is how our paper ui design looks like if you want to learn some basic about the ui design then you should watch this video and if you feel video informative then please hit the like button as well as do subscribe here till then be happy keep designing